Inside the $5 billion Apple headquarters. Apple Inc. is one of the biggest technology companies globally. Founded by the late Steve Jobs, the firm is famed for designing, developing, and selling consumer electronic products to millions of people every year. Due to its exponential growth, in recent years, they decided to build a state-of-the-art office headquarters in Cupertino, California. It was aptly named Apple Park. The property that sits on a 175-acre piece of land cost a tear-dropping $5 billion to complete. Let's take on a virtual ride of the new Apple's paradise. Hey, before we get into the video, be sure to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away any of these items. To enter the giveaway, comment the secret keyword in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Oh, and most importantly, watch the whole video. It's that simple. From an aerial view, the Apple Park looks like a spaceship straight from Gotham City. It opened its doors to employees in April 2017, while construction was still underway in other parts. The glittering commercial hub houses over 12,000 employees and consists of one central four-story circular building, which occupies approximately 2.8 million square feet of space. This heart-filling structure was envisioned by the late Apple founder, Steve Jobs. It was designed by Apple lead designers, Joni Ivey and Norman Foster, the talented architects behind the firm, Foster & Partners. The main building is made entirely of curved glass panels and has four floors of offices with the top floor dedicated to the company executives. So vast is the building that when rolled on a straight line, it can stretch more than a mile long. The detail work is nothing short of picture perfect. For example, the elevator button resembles the iPhone home button. The engineers ensured that the building is environmentally friendly as it is powered entirely by renewable energy, with 80% of its power coming from solar panels. Prior to the commencement of construction works, 7,000 drought-resistant trees were planted to enhance the natural feel and create fresh ambiance. The futuristic design of the complex is not only easily recognizable from the outside, but the inside is another mini-paradise. Not strange for a company that banks over $300 billion in revenues every year. The employees deserve to work in an enabling environment, starting with their offices. The public rarely gets the chance to see the inside of the building, except for the visitors, who are only granted access to certain sections, mostly the Steve Jobs Theater, where the company holds most of its press conferences. There is also a visitor center and a store for tourists looking to buy the latest merchandise from the company. One notable section is the Steve Jobs Theater. The circular building next to the spaceship portion of the campus offers 360-degree views, thanks to its all-glass majestic walls. Once inside, you will be greeted by a larger-than-life marble staircase that will whisk you straight to an underground auditorium. The press enjoys the privilege of visiting the hall at least once per year, mostly during the launch of new Apple products. The auditorium seats 1,000 people. It also boasts a large above-ground cylinder-shaped lobby with a spiral staircase magnificently decorating its rather generous space. The theater alone has 350 parking spaces on North Tontau Avenue and a pedestrian path leading to the main campus, located northwest of the theater. Apart from the unparalleled views offered for the auditorium inhabitants, the 73 metric ton carbon fiber roof made of 44 identical panels creates a sight to behold, showing just how much the architects are good at what they do. The material used to construct the roof was made and supplied by the Dubai-based company Premier Composite Technologies. It is the most massive carbon fiber roof and the largest glass-supported structure in the world. Steve Jobs Theater also includes a 42-foot-high glass elevator that seamlessly rotates 171 degrees from the bottom to the upper lobby. The elevator is tactfully made from chemically tempered glass and is widely considered the tallest freestanding glass elevator globally. The first press conference to be held in the modern structure was conducted on the 12th of September, 2017. It was during this event that the company launched iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone X, Apple Watch Series 3, and Apple TV 4K. The audacious dream of the Apple community started in April of 2006, when the then CEO Steve Jobs announced to the city council of Cupertino that his company had acquired nine contiguous properties to build their campus. The idea was conceived by Jobs himself and Apple's former chief designer, Joni Ivey. Today, the complex decorates its surroundings. Unfortunately, Steve Jobs is not here to see the fruits of his labor. May he continue resting in peace. Another notable facility at the Apple Park is the Wellness Center. The 100,000-square-foot fitness center is strategically located in the northwest side of the campus, 
It is fully stashed with modern equipment, including a stately gym that features amenities like changing rooms, showers, laundry services, and even rooms for group sessions. There is also a research and development facility within Apple's multi-billion dollar complex. The facilities feature two gigantic 300,000 square feet of buildings on the southern edge of the campus, and it houses more than 2,000 people. The top floor of each of the two buildings houses the department comprising industrial design and human interface teams formerly headed by design chief Joni Ivey. Since the facility is insanely huge and houses thousands of employees, the designers saw it fit to develop an all-inclusive transport system. Apple Park boasts its own transportation, which the employees who prefer traveling by bus can use. They will board and depart the bus at the station, which leads to the main campus via two white staircases. The area is also under the watchful eyes of Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority, which runs the local bus services. And as for the employees who use their private cars, their needs are well taken care of as well within this futuristic facility. Parking is located both underground and in two large parking structures accommodating approximately 14,200 vehicles. That being said, the City Council of Cupertino requires a minimum of 11,000 parking spaces, 700 of which are required to have electric vehicle charging stations. There are an additional 2,000 parking spaces in the subterranean parking garage. Since the parking space is outrageously expensive, it is automated so that sensors and apps manage it. That way, traffic and parking spaces can be monitored from the system. For those who feel cycling is physically helpful to them, the Apple Park acquired 1,000 bikes that the employees can use to move around the campus. There are an additional 2,000 bicycle parking spaces in the subterranean parking garage. For the visitors who wish to visit the store and pick a thing or two, there is a dedicated two-story, 20,135 square feet of Apple Park Visitor Center. The structure has four main areas. The Apple Store featuring Apple-branded merchandise like t-shirts, hats, bags, and postcards that, by the way, are not sold at regular Apple stores. There is also a 2,386 square feet cafeteria, where the visitors can grab a bite to eat of their favorite junk food after a long walk in the expansive stores. Additionally, there is an exhibition space that currently showcases a 3D model of Apple Park with augmented reality. It opened to the public on the 17th of November, 2017. The visitor center alone cost the tech titans a jaw-dropping $80 million to put up. The underground parking garage consumed an extra $26 million. The visitor center is the only part of the Apple Park tourists are allowed to visit. The lavish campus was inspired by the idea of a London Square, where houses surround a park and sits by the main quad on Stanford University's campus. Another interesting fact about Apple Park is that it uses a natural ventilation system. This allows it to operate without air conditioning or heating for 75% of the year. This has been aided by the ideal weather in the Northern California region. The inner courtyard covers a whopping 30 acres of land and is lushly covered in fruit trees alongside an artificial pond and cafe. Right in the center of the yard, there is a rectangular field with several arches that resemble a rainbow when viewed from a distance. The Apple Park is technologically astute, and safety is one area where the engineers put a lot of emphasis. In addition to being environmentally sustainable, Apple Park uses 692 steel saucers to help guard the building against earthquake damage. As it is known, North California is an earthquake-prone region. As the multi-billion tech firms battle it out on the market and development front, Apple Park is by far the largest and the most technologically advanced facility in the whole of America. It is actually 6.5 times bigger than the Frank Gehry-designed Facebook headquarters in Palo Alto. Can you let it sink in that the diameter of Apple Park is greater than the height of the Empire State Building? I guess that is what you get when you decide to source building materials from 19 different countries. Would you like to visit Apple Park or become one of their employees? And what is your take on the design, structure, and size of the palatial office complex? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications.